You gotta practice every day. Howdy, and welcome to Daily Miles. Do me a solid, smash that like button down below, and while you're down there, hit the subscribe button for more content. On today's agenda, a little bit of a backstory about the whole um, juggling thing. Why am I juggling? Well, A, because somebody gave me juggling balls, which is really not uh, true juggling balls. It's, um, they're rice bubbles, balloons with rice in them. And it, they, they substitute um, juggling balls very nicely, actually. Why am I juggling again? Well, mostly because I can, and B, because somebody gave these to me. So, why not? Somebody asked, what? So here's the, what? Let's see, I started juggling about oof, 20, 20, oh, good Lord, wow. I was living on, uh, in Kenmore Square in uh, in Boston, and I was hanging out at MIT a little bit, and I passed I passed by and well not a little bit I was actually hanging out at MIT a lot because I was working on a project that would eventually lead me to a pile of money. And one day while I'm coming back from the project area, I'm I pass through what could reasonably be construed as an open area. And I see these guys juggling a whole bunch, not like, like three or four, I mean like 20 guys, well, 20 people juggling all manner of things. And I'm like, now I've seen juggling before and it's, it's never been like, oh, I, I want to do that. No, I'm walking through there and I don't know what struck me. I, uh, to be honest with you, I have no idea. I stopped and I watched for a good 15 or 20 minutes and it must've just been the state of mind that I was in because... The moment I just, I started to turn, one guy turns and walks over to me and says to me, do you want to try? I'm like, I've never juggled in my life. He says, you can do it, piece of cake. And he had me juggling two balls in five minutes. He said, all right, let's add the third, let's add the third one. I'm like, ah, I freaked out, but I was hooked. I was absolutely hooked. So I came back, to, uh, they they meet every Sunday, or they met every Sunday afternoon. I, I come back the next Sunday, not, the, the next day, but the next Sunday, and there must have been like 40 people there. I'm like, oh my God, I feel like an idiot. So I just started going and hanging out with the jugglers 24 seven, baby. They went out, I mean, I hung out that whole afternoon. It's like three hours of juggling. And then they went out for dinner and then we had, you know, Chinese. And then I went, I went, I ended up hanging out with a whole bunch of jugglers after, after the after party. And that was like, you know, three hours. And I was there until like one o'clock in the morning. And all we talked about was, you guessed it, juggling. I'm a novice juggler. I know nothing. And these guys are telling me war stories about the juggling gigs that they've, that they've been doing. And I'm like, this is crazy. And I have no intention of juggling professionally at all. I just think that this is cool to do, that I can actually do it. I start practicing every day, basically. And I'm with these guys, I'd say a good three, three months. And I get to know all their, all their names and hang out and you know, do the after party, the Sunday after party and become part of the juggling crowd. And I don't know what turned me off, to be honest with you. I really don't. I, I have the strangest feeling. I think I know what it was or the thing that just made me go in the completely opposite direction was Dance Friday. And if you don't know about that, uh, see the link down below in the description for, you know, what Dance Friday and Dance Freedom and all that happy noise was, because that's a story in and of itself. So I think that because right after that, Right after I found Dance, Free Dance Friday for the first time, I never went back to juggling at all, at, in any way, shape, or form. Or at least just not, you know, in any way that, you know, meant anything to me. And the whole reason why I'm telling you this is a few days ago, I mentioned that I needed something to relieve my stress because it's like about to pop. It's a major stress relief for me. I, I had no idea. I was thinking I would, you know, do surfing, but I can't afford surfing. So juggling is not such a bad idea, not such a bad substitute for stress relief. And truth be told, with a little bit of practice, and a little bit of patience, I'm actually getting better. That first little bit right there, that's the, I mean, that was my first attempt at juggling today and notice that it went a little bit longer. And I've, I've started to remember some, some tips that I, that I learned very, very early on. 
And not that I'm ever going to do anything with it. I, for me, it's just stress relief because I've got a whole bunch of shit in my head that I just need to get out of my head. And I've learned that if I don't, if I don't jettison that shit, the sooner the and and the sooner the better. Then it's just going to do me a whole lot of damage. So, juggling every day like clockwork. So I've juggled at least. Um, this is that was the the. I'm not kidding. I mean, I have not edited this. So what you saw at the beginning is me the very first time that I juggled today. So there you go. So now I'm going to get back to juggling. Thanks a bunch for watching. I appreciate your time, your patience, and your patronage. If you like this stuff, do me a solid. Smash that like button down below. I will be infinitely happy and infinitely grateful if you did. And now I'm going to get back to juggling. Thanks a bunch for watching. Daily Miles. Bye. Yeah. Ah. I spoke too soon. <laughs>